This little video is to explain something about my weather station, which I really like. It roughly looks like this. I've already taken it apart. But uh, what happened was this, uh, one of these cups broke off. So I could have gotten just this part, $5 plus shipping. Um, but and this is a solar panel that makes this little fan spin to do uh, improve the accuracy of the uh, temperature. But everybody was raving about this unit because it's got two solar panels. So it says it spins more often and that the temperature is more accurate, which I never really had a problem with temperature, but I just, I like this solar, I like my weather station so much that I couldn't resist. And uh, I also bought an extra one of these while I was at it. Um, and one other thing I wanted to mention, because uh, is I did put this up to a light bulb and the fan would spin. The fan, it works. It still works. But um, at any rate, uh, one other thing I wanted to mention was periodically you do need to clean the dirt uh, bugs out, bugs out of it. Which it's been years. See, that's another thing I wanted to tell you. That this thing's been, I, I got this years ago and it still works. Um, one other thing I was going to point out is it's got a rain gauge which I never properly calibrated. But the way it works is the water drips down and then it pushes this tumbler back and forth. And uh, a magnet uh, a switch checks how many times it goes back and forth. That's how it estimates the um, rainfall. Um, and that's what it uses too for wind speed. It's got this, uh, these are little magnets. As they go around, there's a switch that, that uh, counts it, how many times to go around. Um, so I think I'm gonna, I can wash this out. I think I can wash these bugs out. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna get these electronics all soaked. Um, this this is where the uh, air goes through. And uh, so does it get wet? It would have to get wet. And that goes on there. Or does it go? No, it goes into that fan. How does that work? And yeah, it's exhausted through here. That's why there's a that's why there's a uh, roof there. So that water doesn't go in there. So I want to show you this one still works. Okay, it's in the shade right now, so it's not spinning. Look at that. I mean, I really didn't believe the. Can you see it? I really didn't believe the. You know the complaints about it. Because to me, it doesn't take very much sun. Let's see, let's just, of course, it right now it'd just be about, it'd be, the way it's supposed to be installed would be like that. So it's just blasting. Like if you go to twist it, like say it's evening, see even at that old angle to the sun, it's spinning. Can you see it? Take my word for it if you can't see it. It's spinning. You can see what an angle I've got it at to the sun. So, I don't know. But, uh, at any rate, the, I, I just, I guess the bottom line for me was I just enjoy my weather station so much, and it, after it's lasted for several years, that I wanted to do that, so that upgrade. Maybe that fan spins a little faster and looks a little better, I don't know. And there it is. A little breeze from the south. So it's back on, it's reading 89 degrees. I need to calibrate my rainfall thing. And I have to do that. I have to read about how to do that. Or, at any rate, it's not done.
Evidently, I do have this rain gauge. But the problem with this one, and this one is, of course, very accurate, I'm assuming. But the problem is when I dump some out, then I can't get a monthly total very easily. If you're getting a lot of rain, so you dump out an inch and a half, so you want to know, I had an inch and a half event. I had a rain event, inch and a half. So you dump an inch and a half out. And then you have another rain event, half inch. Maybe you leave that in. And you have another rain event, a quarter inch. You know, you can't, it's hard to... And, and then you dump it out. So you got three quarter inch you dump out. I was writing it on the calendar. But then one thing too that happens, you write it on the last day of the month, turn the page, you're in the middle of a rain event. So it drops off. Of course, that's going to happen with this. But anyway, this will do a monthly total. This one does a monthly total if I can get it calibrated. Plus, it'll do a rainfall rate, which is interesting. So it's pouring down rain. You don't want to go out and check the rain gauge, probably.